Hello, everybody. Okay, I am back with my um, second book of the year. Yes, that's right. And it's January 13th. Um, I just finished reading today. I finished reading The Idiot by uh, Alif Badaman. Um And we'll start out with the rating. I gave this three stars out of five. Um, so it has the same rating that I gave uh, Good Eggs. I forgot what it was called for a second. Um, but this... Oh gosh, it's dark in here. It's okay. But this was a recommendation from my cousin. Um, it was a Pulitzer Prize finalist and a national bestseller. So it was supposed to be really good. Um, it's basically about this girl. Um, and she starts going to Harvard. And so there's two parts of the story. It starts out with her first year, her freshman year. Um, fall and spring semester and then it goes to part two and it's the summer of her first year so it goes June, July, August um, and I don't know if I said this this was a recommendation from my cousin she um, is letting me borrow it um, it's 423 pages and I didn't like it that much uh, so I wrote a review on Goodreads and I'm going to grab my phone so that I can reference it um, but it just, it was a lot. It So, earlier this year, I read um, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. And that was my first book that I've read that was written in Stream of Consciousness. And that kind of writing is very difficult for me because it's very character-driven, singular character-driven. Um, and the plot is kind of just a, a random part. Of, it's not random, but it's not... Um, it's not a very huge part of the book, which is a little difficult for me. Um, so I, I, yeah, I wrote my review. I'm looking for it and I cannot find it. Hang on. Um, but the book was not terrible. It's written incredibly impressively. Incre yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's a very, the writing is very impressive. Um, the references are very intelligent, so it's just, it's a very existential academic kind of book, and while I like to consider myself existential and academic, um, I didn't, um, find the, this book that easy to read. I cannot find my review, um, anywhere, hang on, where did, I, I, when I, made my review on Goodreads, I, or for Good Eggs, I found it. But where is it right now? Oh, here it is. Okay, I found it. I found it. Okay. Um, so, basically, the first part that I wrote that basically just describes the book is The Idiot by Elif ba oh, I really don't want to butcher the name. By Elif Badaman is an intelligent and witty portrait of a woman discovering herself in the expanding world around her. We follow Celine through her trials and tribulations as... She begins at Harvard University in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So, yeah, the writing, very impressive, stream of consciousness. There were a lot of parts of the book that I did like, a lot of parts that I wanted to highlight um, and kind of save for later, but I wrote them down, wrote just the topic of them down in my Goodreads review. So there's this really funny joke about a flea, uh, a joke about a silver tray that you would get as a wedding gift. There were just like very delightful moments throughout the book, which I absolutely loved, but it wasn't chock full of the delightful moments where it would get a higher rating than three stars, but I did finish it. It took me, I think I started it on the sixth. So it took me a week to, to finish it because I finished Good Eggs on the 4th and then I didn't start reading The Idiot till later on. But I, um, this week I read the majority of it. Like I had read it only to page 80 by Monday and then Monday when I got home from school I read over 100 pages and then I read 100 pages on um, Tuesday and then didn't read again until today, Thursday. And I just, I just finished it off because I really want to start... Um, Malibu Rising, which is what I'm going to read next, but uh, The Idiot. It just, if you like that kind of book, if you liked any of Virginia Woolf's works, or I'm trying to think of who else, um, if you like Catcher in the Rye, if you like portraits of characters, like The Bell Jar, uh, Catcher in the Rye, I can't, well, a portrait of a 
of an artist as a young man. Like, those are pretty much the only ones I can think of. Um, but if you like portraits of characters, this one would be perfect for you because it does go really in depth into this character and you discover things about her throughout the story, which I really loved at parts, but I didn't love for the whole book to be like that, you know, like page 108 says something about her, her character development and you kind of, it un reveals like a big way of how she thinks, but there just, there wasn't enough of that for me to absolutely love this book. And while I loved and adored moments of it, they're just moments, just little pieces of the book, of the 423-page book. Uh, but it it was a real good attempt for me. I really tried to love this book, and I kept thinking to myself, this will be four stars, this will be four stars. And then when I was writing my review, I was like, mm, this kid, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to make the cut. Um, and so then I was going between two and three stars, but it is definitely, has a lot of potential. Also, did anyone hear someone just sneeze or scream really loud? I don't know. I'll have to watch it back and see if it caught it because that was really loud. Um, anyway, I just, I really wanted to love this book so much. And I, I tried because my, I love my cousin and she lent it to me and I really wanted to love the book she, she lent to me, but I didn't. But the, she lent me two. She also lent me Circe by Madeline Miller, which I'm going to read. Um, two books after Malibu Rising, and I, I'm not going to say which one I'm going to read after Malibu Rising, because it's going to be a surprise, and I also haven't decided yet, but it is after the one I'm reading after this. So I have two options for after this, but I'm pretty sure I know which one I'm going to read, and then after Circe, I'll read the, the other option, but the idiot. I really... <sighs> okay. I would recommend it to people. I did. I recommended it to my um, the, the teacher that I teach her aid for, cause I feel like she would like it. It's a very, it's a very English teachery book. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop rambling, rambling cause I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but that is my review of the idiot. It's really interesting. Um, there are moments I liked, Oh wait, I'm not done. Um, it's set in Harvard and just at the beginning of December. So just a little bit over a month ago, I went to Boston and I went to Harvard. So I, the first 80 pages, 50 pages or whatever, talks about the Boston surroundings and all that kind of thing. And I love, love, love knowing, like, where the book is set. Like, oh, it's just, it's so good because it, it just makes you feel, it makes you feel so fancy, so worldly. And you, like, you know what's going on and you know what she's talking about. Like, when she was referencing the, the, the tea line, um, brain tree to alewife, that kind of thing. Like, I just, mm. I knew what she was talking about and that was, that was really nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's all I've got for now. It was very smart. It was, it was, I don't know when it was published, but there were very, no, I wouldn't say topical, but fairly topical references for the time. Like, um, they've got Bjork in there. I, they've got Bjork and Madame Bovary in the same paragraph. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and give it a read. Cause it's got some very intelligent, um, but also pop culture -y kind of references. So that is it for my review. And hopefully I will be back in just like one or two days or three days or four days. Uh, hopefully not four. Maybe I'm really, it's a three day weekend coming up. So I want to knock this out so fast. I read Daisy Jones and the six in one day and I just loved it. And I, seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo is my favorite book ever. So I'm hoping to knock this out really fast and I'll be back. All right. See you later. Bye.